What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultimate iDevice Vids. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install the split screen multitasking feature from the iPad Pros and the iPad Air 2 on your jailbroken iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch running iOS 9.3.3. So this will work on any device, you know, the screen size does not matter as long as you're jailbroken on 9.3.3. So it's an incredibly cool feature, and you guys just have to try this if you're jailbroken. So first thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and open up Cydia on your device, and just go ahead and search for Splitify and Cydia. So the spelling will be up on the screen right now, but essentially once you guys do find the tweak, just go ahead and select it, and install this on your device. And that's all you're going to need for this, just Splitify. So once you guys have installed it on your device, you're going to want to go into settings and configure it. So essentially, once you guys are here, just scroll into the bottom and you guys will eventually see the Splitify settings panel. Just go ahead and open it up. And in here, you want to do a couple things. So up at the top, there's this little slider. And as you can see, there's mode one and mode two. If you guys are doing this on an iPhone or iPod Touch, make sure it's set to two. If you're doing it on an iPad, just have it set to one. So again, iPhone, iPod Touch is going to be two. So that's going to be me. But you can set it to one if you have an iPad. And you can see there's a little, there's a little guide here for the rotation. So the one is for iPad rotation and two is for iPhone six and 6 plus rotation but again the 2 also applies to any other device like a 5s so the smaller devices as well all right so once you've done that just go ahead and scroll down here and you're going to want to go ahead and disable enable patch 1.3.3 just make sure this toggle is disabled and then after that just go ahead and select respring and after this we will be all set all right so once your device is back up just go ahead and slide to unlock and at this point you're pretty much done so this tweak works best in landscape mode as you'd expect so just go ahead and rotate your device into landscape mode now if you guys have a smaller device that doesn't have landscape mode by default this tweak will actually enable it for you so here's an ipod touch here of course it has a smaller display and as you can see this tweak just enables landscape mode so it rotates just like this now of course that being said some of the things overlap on the screen but it does work perfectly for the multitasking purpose so first things first i just want to show you guys how to actually make this tweak work so just go ahead and jump into any app on your device i'm just going to go into safari here and basically, if you want if you want to bring over another application to split screen multitask with, just go ahead and slide over from the side like this, from the right to the left, and then just go ahead and slide again, and then you're going to be brought to this menu. Now, if you guys want to change the application in here, just go ahead and swipe from the top, and then swipe again. Then you're going to be brought to the application picker. This is where you actually pick the application you want to multitask with. So I'm just going to go ahead and select notes here. And as you can see, it's not fully in split screen multitasking mode yet. It's just kind of off to the side. But if you want to go full split screen, just go ahead and swipe uh, in the middle using this little grabber like this. And then as you can see right there, release. And there you guys go, full split screen multitasking. So this is just so cool. As you can see, I have Safari over here. I'm browsing a website, but I also have my notepad over here. So this is useful. For example, let's just say you want to take notes while you're browsing you know, a website. I could do that over here while, again, still browsing the website, still seeing everything. And I could just hide the keyboard if I want to. And again, it just works so well, you know, on these smaller devices, you know, even though, of course, it's designed for the iPads. Again, it works so well on any older device. So uh, to, of course, exit split screen, split screen multitasking mode, just go ahead and slide the application over uh, either way, just like this. And then it'll go back to the one application that it was before, as you can see, just like this. And I also just wanted to show you guys that this tweak also works with smaller devices as well. So I'll show you guys over here that it does work. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump into an app. Let's just say notes on the iPod Touch. And then we could just go ahead and slide over. Same thing, slide again. Then we basically have the ability to slide down like this and pick any app. So let's just go ahead and pick, I don't know, the settings application for, ex for an example. And then we could just go ahead and slide it like this. And there you go, full split screen. I have notes over here and settings over here. Now, obviously, it works better on a larger device, but it's definitely possible to do on a smaller device, which is just so cool. You know, an iPod Touch can run this, or, you know, any iPhone can run this. It's just such a cool concept to have. And this also works in portrait mode. However, I don't recommend it because it's buggy and it's just complicated because everything's really tight. But as you can see right here, <laughs> everything's really crammed up there. And if you try to go split screen, it's even more of a mess and it's kind of buggy. So again, I recommend sticking to landscape for this tweak for sure. That's definitely, I would say, how it's intended to be used. So as you can see there, <laughs> pretty hard to navigate. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoy full split screen multitasking on any device. I certainly will. And if you guys find this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to jailbreak tweaks, you know, iOS devices, iOS updates, that kind of thing. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.